Welcome to Number Pro. In this video, we're going to cover how to set up a template to use Number Pro with Corel Draw. Now, I want to tell you, I've already created a sheet of tickets, uh, eight up to a sheet. So I'm going to open up a uh, tile for our eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. And what I'm going to do is import my file, which is one sheet of tickets. I find that uh, sometimes it's easier just to import uh, one big sheet. Now, what I've done is I've, I've created this uh, ticket and I've just duplicated it, laid it out, eight to a sheet, and saved it as one image. So I'm just going to click and drag my plane out here, my insert plane, and insert my image there. So as you can see, I have eight tickets, four across. These are uh, stubbed tickets meaning that um, these are created to print numbers at the top and at the, uh, the bottom side of the ticket. I'm going to import my text file that I created in Number Pro. I'm going to go find where I saved my file. Now I, I created a, uh, uh, a text file in Number Pro earlier to uh, number my tickets, eight up to a sheet of paper, and I want a hundred numbered tickets. So I'm going to open up my file. Next, next, finish. And that will open up my print merge data pane up here. Now, as you can see, uh, the field number up there. Since uh, my uh, number pro uh, text document was set up to do eight tickets to a sheet, I'll have eight numbered fields. So when we click the insert, it'll create number one field, as you can see. I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit. No, not that much. There we go. It inserted number one there. Drag this up into position. Number two, insert, click and drag. And we can tweak exactly how we want these to look on the sheet of paper. But for right now, I'm just going to put all eight of them on the sheet of paper here. Oops, let's go back, click, and drag. Got to be careful what you're clicking and dragging here. Sometimes you have a tendency to want to drag the paper rather than the inserted field here. Put them Number five in position, six, seven. I find it's easier to create a, uh, a sheet of tickets this way rather than having to paste eight separate individuals on a sheet of paper sometime when we're doing a layout like this with numbering. Okay, let's. And these particular tickets are roughly uh, two inches and a half. In case you are curious there on the measurements here. Okay, I'm going to see if I can't. You, you can adjust. Once you have these laid out, you, you can select them and you can see font size and the color. And... Uh, the particular font that you want to use. I'm just going to change these up just a little bit just to show you. Arial round. Let's see what, what size font we can use here. Oops, it's too small. Go up and change to red. And there you have it. So that would be a 24 points uh, aerial round bold font there. Once again, you come back in and tweak these up and move them around to position them exactly the way you want. Next is what I'm going to do is show you an example of putting the text down on the body of the ticket itself. So 
as I finish these up here. Now there's probably a number of ways to do this. What I particularly like to do on, on a Windows computer is just control copy um, and then control paste and that'll that'll create a duplicate of that field. And then if you grab the corner of it, you'll have the rotation uh, markings of where you can actually just rotate that. And I'm going to put it right down here at the bottom right hand corner. Once again, control copy, control or I'm sorry, control C is control copy and then control V is, is paste. And you have to click right in the right spot in order to get those arrows to rotate. And sometimes that's a little tricky for me, but I'm just going to do these two tickets just to give you an idea of what I'm doing here. Maybe if I zoom in just a little bit here, I can get a better hold of that. There we go. Rotate, and then we're going to drag that down to position. All right. There we go. Just to give you an example, I'm not going to do all of them, but after we have that completed, click Merge to New Document, and that will complete the process. As we see if I can zoom in here, and you can see that all the tickets on the first page are numbered. You notice at the bottom of my screen, I have page one, two, three, four, etc. Each of them laid out with the stacking numbers. I'm going to convert this to a PDF just to give you another look at it. Uh, there's so you can see all of them laid out one next to each other. You can actually save this as a, as a Corel document and it will maintain this numbering. And you can print directly from this document. I'm just going to save it as a PDF here just to give you an idea outside of Corel. Give my PDF document a name here. And there, as you can see, it converted it to a PDF. And there are 13 sheets. And when I scroll down, you'll see that there's actually a few extra blanks. Because after it reaches 100, there's actually a few extra spots that, since our numbering only went to 100, we don't have. And if uh, my PDF file let me do that, we'll see here, and as you can see. There we go. There's number 100 right there in the bottom bottom right. And then if I scroll down just a little bit more, you'll see that there's actually a few tickets on the remaining sheets that are blank, that have no numbering. But that's uh, 8 up to a sheet, 1 to 100. You can also go in and, and save it as a PDF by uh, under the file command. Over how you're able to number in CorelDRAW using Number Pro. Thanks for watching.